While this is great, everything here looks super freaking festive. Okay, so this is going to be a, a huge spoiler alert. Okay, so if you do not want to see the rest of today's video just because you don't want to be spoiled with the rest of the content, which is coming in about five days time, then I would highly suggest that you skip this video. I'll probably put like a TLDR in the comments, like a pinned comment down in the comment section below. So you can go ahead and pause this so that you don't spoil yourself with all the goodies that we're going to get because there is quite a lot of stuff happening on the 10th of May which we are going to take a first look at in this video. Okay, so the first thing is obviously just take a look at all the decorations here. Very nice, a lot of balloons. It's essentially just the first birthday of this slide and of course the 10th anniversary of Lilith Games as well. Okay, so this is not all, right? So there is a new events banner here called the Burning Beat Way Array, right? <laughs> Okay, so the first thing is going to be the sweet wishes and this is not the same as what I ex expected. So I expected this to be a lot of cakes that would give us stamina, but this is not going to be the case. So there is a total of 12 days worth of the sweet wishes here and every single day you will unlock one layer of the cake. So for example, we are currently on the first layer. If you want to unlock the second layer, we need to wait for 11 hours and then uh, so on and so forth all the way up till the 12th day where you can finally unlock the top tier over here. Okay, so what is this all about, right? So essentially, when you complete certain requirements that they require from you, you're going to acquire some completion rewards, which will then rise from like three gold records to uh, one legendary starry mon, three more gold records, another three gold records, and finally, one legendary ability mon after completing 20 of these missions over here. So what exactly are these missions? Let's take a look. So the first one over here, this is going to be consumed through stamina, and we will get an infernal record, which I definitely have to go and complete as well. And what is Drew going to offer us today? So we have to answer a question. You may find the answer in the related Esper's profile. So what should I get to go with this afternoon tea? I basically have to choose exactly what he likes in order for me to get an exquisite reward. So I'm actually gonna, just going to go here and choose like the moose cake. And we are correct. Okay, so I got the top reward, I think. So he gave me like this message over here, which is like, if you really care a lot about the character, then this is going to mean a lot to you. And yeah, that's about it. So we just need to do certain tasks, like complete DJ contest one time and we can get stuff. And of course, this adds on and on and on to our completion, which is, I guess, very important for you to complete it so that you can get your legendary ability mod, at least. And of course, nine other summons. Aside from that, uh, it's something that we already missed, which is to obtain the 10 free gold records plus the permanent avatar frame. So I actually went ahead to collect it just because I didn't know that we were going to automatically receive it. And this is exactly how it looks like. Over here, pretty cool. Pretty damn cool for a frame like this to be perpetual. Oh my goodness, it's actually really nice. I love the design a lot. They put a lot of thought into this and I think it looks really, really awesome. So that was the sweet wishes. And next, obviously everyone wants to know a little bit more about the Jigsaw Fest. So every single day <laughs> that you log in, you can obtain one Jigsaw attempt. Link three puzzle pieces to earn one of these rewards. So there's like another five, another, how many is this? Another 10 gold records over here, which is, wow, so crazy. And by completing everything, we can choose one four-star non-shimmer Esper over here. There are 27 options, which... Uh, I'm not sure, wait, how many Epic Espers do we actually have right now that are non-Shimmer? We have 36 Epic Espers that are not Shimmer Epic Esper, so we can only choose 27 out of 36, basically just 75% of the entire Esper pool. So I'm not sure what exactly is contained in- oh, 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 relax, relax. I'm not sure exactly what's contained in the Jigsaw final, uh, final reward. It's not actually uh, reflected here, right? So we, we cannot say for sure. So there's another 10 gold records over here, very nice. Now, next. We have the flashback, which is essentially just telling you a little bit more about whatever that you have done since you started playing this game. So let's just go ahead. I mean, this is my PTR account. This is not going to be accurate at all. Uh, Dear Daddy Free to Play, you set foot on Grandis on blah 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 and have been living here for 51 days. <laughs> During your journey, you spent 4 days reaching Story Stage Purgatory 12, 16. Hell mode not counted. It must be hard, but rewarding. Okay. A total of 24 million legendary espers were summoned by our players through Echo Spins. <laughs> 22.4 million. Uh, I've spun 1,318 times on this account and I've gotten 26 legendary espers to join my team. A force to be reckoned with. Out of all the epic espers you've acquired, Mona was drawn 10 times. <laughs> Sure, why not? Server-wide data, the top 10 favorites are blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this is only pertaining to the PTR server and etc. and etc. etc. So, yep, you can learn a lot about all the things over here. I think it's pretty cool. Like, there is a lot of information over here. So, very nice. Oh my god, a billion friendship points. <laughs> wow, okay, total domination. Thunderstorms can't be stopped that easily. <laughs> Congrats. 3% of players acquired this label. Gaius, very nice. Your Esper radar, activeness, power, <laughs> collection, people. Basically everything here, what the heck? 
So that was the flashback. Very, very cool. And next up, we have the rewind as well. So it is finally going to be back. There are two attempts to rewind two experts that you have. So for me, I'm personally going to rewind experts like Dona. I don't ever use him. I don't think I will use him at all. Maybe not in the near term. And I'm not so sure who my second expert is going to be. It's probably going to be uh, maybe Liling, right? I don't really touch Liling all that much. Not in the way they are thinking about at least. Okay, now finally, let's end off with the Flaming Echo. Everyone has been asking me very frequently, do you have any idea how the Flaming Echo works? Let's just find out over here. Okay, so I have one rotary coin. Let's actually just spin this. And you can obtain one coin every uh, like one day, two days, three days, five days, and seven days. So this is how you unlock uh, all these experts here. And I randomly drew Changzi from the selection. So I cannot actually change this and I cannot actually pick more experts over here. So let's just go ahead and do some summons and let's just see how this works. I'm actually going to sacrifice my option here. I'm actually going to pull for Changzi just to prove a point. Okay, so we're going to go to the Echo. We're going to draw like 50 times. And we are actually going to do uh, 10 go records and maybe a bunch of elemental records just to show that we can indeed use elemental records as well. So that was 10 go records and let's move on to our elementals. So I have 10 flow records here. Moving on to 10 inferno records and I do not have enough for 10 win records. Rip. Okay, so we're just going to do another 20 more go records summons here for a total of 50 and let's just see whether this works or not. Okay, and that was 50 full summons. Now let's go back to the Flaming Echo real quick and let's just see whether we can progress over here. So for the Flaming Echo, we already have 50 out of 50 attempts. So use Rotary Coins to randomly get non-shimmer legendary Esper options. Then perform 50 Echo Spins to get a free Esper from the options. And I have already done the 50, uh, the 50 summons over here. So let's actually just go ahead and select uh, Tang Zi, right? Once we select, we cannot like change our, our options and all that. Okay, so we got Tang Zi and we got uh, one legendary Starimon as well. And can we do this again? The event has ended. So you can only summon 50 times. That is all. This is what I was trying to prove. But of course, when we progress through the rest of the days, we are going to get more of these rotary coins. We can continue spinning. Uh, okay, I can't spin anymore, but we can continue spinning up to a total of six different aspects at random. And you can get to select whoever you want. So it's very important for you to make the correct decision based on the aspects that you need, including resonances as well. So if you do need certain resonances like Yunchuan, Embla, Brewster, for example, these are some of the very good options for you to get extra resonance copies. If not, new aspects are also fine as long as you do not find them in the wish pool, I think. Because I think if they exist in the wish pool, you can still select them with wish stones. So I don't think it makes a lot of sense for you to select them via the Flaming Echo. I'd rather you select other aspects that you actually need as opposed to aspects that you can get with 100 wish stones. Oh, and let's just backtrack a little bit. I forgot to, <laughs> to roll an attempt here. Okay, so I got a hand and then I got 100 Nexus Crystals. Very nice. So there is actually Nexus Crystals behind some of these tiles as well. I'm not sure whether all of them have Nexus Crystals, but it is a lot of rewards over here. So from what I can see, right, we do get one free Legendary. We are also going to get a free Epic of our choice. And there is also 10 Go Records here. And there is also 10 Go Records in the Anniversary when you just log in itself. And under the sweet wishes, I can't tell for sure, but there is more than just nine go records because each of these tiles here that we can select, or each of these aspers at least, uh, there will be certain rewards and there might actually be go records behind them as well. I just cannot confirm it right now because there are elemental records here. Uh, there are some EXP uh, experiments. There are some ritual coins. So there's bound to be something interesting behind some of these faces here, which I am actually quite excited to see. So. In total, there are 29 Go Records, one Legendary Abilimon, one free Legendary uh, legendary Esper, one free Epic Esper, and we get two rewinds as well, completely free on the 10th day of login. It's actually really cool. The rewards are a lot. And actually, are there anything new in the mail? Okay, there is nothing new in the mail at all. So these are all the rewards, and under the events, the normal events banner itself, uh, it doesn't seem like there are anything new whatsoever. Oops, I forgot to collect my Legendary Abilimon. Whew. Yep, there is nothing new at all. So all the new stuff will be under the Burning Beat Rave event over here, which is like super tiny for some reason. Okay, so that's it for this video. Hope you guys are excited about what's to come as I am as well. Leave your questions down in the comment section below if you have anything else you want to ask, if you have anything else that you want me to check out, and I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's content. If you did, don't forget a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content. Now with that said, this has been Dairy Free to Play, and as always, I will see you in the next video.